Hi, we'll be solving microeconomics worksheet 4, problem 1. Let's read the given. The below table provides the price elasticity of demand for movie tickets as measured by the elasticity coefficient. The demand equation for, uh, for movie tickets is P equals 9 minus Q. So we have a table. On this table, we have the quantity, the price, and the elasticity. For quantity equals 1, price equals 8. For quantity equals 2, price equals 7. Between these two quantities, elasticity equals 5. Quantity equals 3, price equals 6. Between quantity 2 and quantity 3, elasticity equals 2.6, etc. Okay, since it's an elasticity problem, let's review our, our, our material. First of all, elasticity equals the percent change in Q demanded over the percent change in price. Three possible outcomes. Elasticity can be greater than one, so the demand is elastic. So the percentage change in Q is higher than the percentage change in P. Whatever happens between P and Q, TR follows Q because percentage change in Q is higher. Second outcome. Elasticity is less than 1, so the demand is inelastic. Percentage change in Q is less than the percentage change in P. So whatever happens between P and Q, TR follows the price. Finally, the outcome can be elasticity equals 1. In this case, demand is unit elastic. TR is always at maximum in this case and does not change. Let's read the given. What is the value of the maximum total revenue? So when we say maximum total revenue, this takes us to elasticity equals 1. Let's see. In the table, the elasticity equals 1 between... Quantity equals 4 and price equals 5 and quantity equals 5 and price equals 4. They're asking us for about total uh, revenue. When quantity equals 4 and price equals 5, total revenue equals 4 times 5, which is 20. When the quantity equals 5 and the price equals 4, total revenue equals 5 times 4, which is also 20. So maximum total revenue equals 20. You see, when the elasticity equals 1, we have the same total revenue, and it's the highest total revenue possible. In this case, total revenue equals 20. Question two, what do you expect to happen So what do you expect to happen to total revenue as the price of a movie ticket decreases from seven from eight to seven? So if the price decreases from eight to seven so we're here. From 8 to 7. What happens to total revenue? Without calculations. Let's see. In this case, if the price is at 8 and 7, 
elasticity equals 5. This means that the demand is elastic. If the demand is elastic, total revenue follows the quantity. Let's see. Here the quantity increased or decreased. From 1 to 2, the quantity increased following the decrease in the price. Since the demand is elastic, total revenue follows the quantity and it increases. You can verify this if you calculate total revenue. Total revenue for quantity equals 1 equals 8. Total revenue for quantity 2 equals 14. As you see, total revenue increased. So, it's enough to say demand is elastic, so total revenue increases. The calculation is only for verification in this case. They did not ask us to calculate. All right. Question three. Use total revenue test to prove that demand is inelastic as the price decreases from three to one. So if the price decreases from three to one, calculate total revenue and prove that the demand is elastic. So if the demand is inelastic, if the demand is inelastic, the price decreases, the TR must decrease. Let's check if this is true. TR One, when the price equals three, and TR two, when the price equals one. TR one equals so TR one equals six times three equals eighteen. TR two equals eight times 1, which is 8. You can see that TR decreased as we estimated. So because TR decreased, we can say that the demand is an elastic. That's it. Thank you for watching.